Hello, 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 my uh, River Kids, whoever else is watching us. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching. I am so happy to have you here with me today. I hope everybody is staying very safe and very healthy, but just enjoying all the extra time that you are getting to spend with your loved ones. Uh, this week, we are going to start a series called The Essentials, okay? And it's going to go over the core beliefs of our faith, okay? So that's where we are going to start for the next few weeks. Uh, we, I will be teaching a lesson that you can watch anytime, and then on Thursday evenings at 5, we'll be having a Zoom meeting to uh, whomever would like to join us. We'll be talking about some of the things in our lesson as well as just uh, hopefully doing some, some fun games and activities as well. So, okay. Today's lesson, we're gonna start uh, kind of with about this big idea of trust. Now, this happened a long time ago, but there was once how many of you have ever been to the circus or watched the circus or anything like that? Most of us have probably been to a circus, seen some circus, and how many of you have ever seen a tightrope walker? The guy who is really up high and walks across on this really skinny tightrope all the way across and doesn't fall? It's kind of amazing. Like, I would be so scared to do that, okay? so. There was this guy, and this is true. You can look this up after we're done here, okay? There was this guy who did this across Niagara Falls, okay? If you don't know what Niagara Falls is, you're gonna need to look that up when we're done too, okay? Niagara Falls is a huge waterfall, okay? So this guy decided to walk across a tightrope across Niagara Falls and he took a wheelbarrow across, kind of to help him with balance a little bit, okay? So he, he took this wheelbarrow across. He got all the way across. He didn't fall, nothing. It was amazing, okay? And he got to the other side and everybody was like applauding and just kind of in awe of him. And so then he was like, do you want me, do you want me to go back? Do you want me to do it the other way too? And they were all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you believe that I can do this? That I can go all the way back the same way I came here with this wheelbarrow? Yes, 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 we can, we believe you. And then he said, you get in my wheelbarrow with me then. Hmm. Kind of changed your tune then, right? Are you willing to get in that wheelbarrow and trust him? Okay, this is where our story is going with today. Uh, with can we, can each of us, oops, can each of us trust Jesus enough with our lives to get into his wheelbarrow and let him lead us and let him guide us and go with him every step of the way. So I'm going to read today from uh, John 14, John 14, verses one through six. So if you have your Bible, go ahead and read along with me. I'm in John 14, and I'm gonna be reading verses one through six, okay? And as I read, I want you to think about this big idea of trusting Jesus with our lives and letting him lead us, okay? Chapter 14, Jesus, the way to the Father. Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am. And you know the way to where I am going. No, we don't, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going. So how can we know the way? 
Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Ooh. So, a lot of trust going on with not knowing where he is going, okay? And being able to trust in him and just to follow, okay? Uh, if you remember these first followers of Jesus when he came to them, he asked them to leave everything, to trust in him and to leave their life and everything they know and to just follow him. That takes a lot of trust to leave your home, to leave everything that you know and to just follow him. Hmm. Um, if you have, some of you came by um, not too long ago and got the packet that came along with our series, okay? Um, if not, I am sending it or I will have sent it uh, to your parents as well. You can just kind of follow along with me or if you are able to print it off, fabulous, okay? Uh, this today, with this lesson, we have a crossword puzzle that goes along with the verses that I just read, okay? So let's kind of talk about this, work through this together, okay? Uh, we'll probably go over it again Thursday night as well. Uh, for those of you who don't have it with you, we'll do part of it now and finish it up Thursday night. How about that, okay? So the first one here says, in verse 5, which disciple is mentioned? Okay, this means that you're going to need that Bible, okay? You're going to need that Bible for this because we are using John 14, verses 1 through 6, okay? So it says in verse 5, which disciple is mentioned? So I go to chapter 14, verse 5, and it says, no, we don't know, Lord, Thomas said. We have no idea where you are going, so how can we know the way? What, what disciple was mentioned? Thomas, okay? So we would write in Thomas on this first line right here then, okay? T-H-O-M-A-S, Thomas, okay? So this is kind of your assignment to finish before Thursday. Um, and we'll talk about this then when we get on our Zoom call on Thursday. And let me know if you did not get the link to this or you were not able to come get one last weekend. And I will make sure I send your parents the link for that as well. Or, okay? So, um, I've got something else I want to do as well. Now, I want to focus on that the, the last verse here, okay? Uh, John 14, 6 here. It says, Jesus told him. Okay, so he's replying to Thomas here, who's questioning, I, I, I don't know where you're going. How am I supposed to know where you're going? Okay, and Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, except through this type of believing in him and trusting in him. Okay, so I'm going to take a piece of paper here. Okay, I know, piece of paper, right? And I feel that that verse is really, really important. Okay, so... I wrote this verse straight up and down in the middle of my paper here, okay? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. Okay, now with this piece of paper, okay? Now some people, some people don't believe that Jesus is the only way to get to God. So I'm going to turn this paper upside down, okay? So they, they try to take it and turn it upside down and kind of work this way through it instead of working this way through it, okay? 
And sometimes people just completely ignore how God is speaking to them. So I'm going to turn this paper upside down now too, okay? So I'm going to set it on my table here and work the rest of the way, okay? So sometimes then people, they flip it and they fold it and they kind of change things around um, to best meet their needs in their life. So I'm going to... Gonna fold one corner up, okay? They're kind of flipping it. And they're folding it, okay? So now my paper looks like this, okay? And I'm going to flip that part up, okay? And uh, I'm even gonna fold this in half, okay? So, some people just change change the words in the Bible to fit their lives. What, what's kind of convenient and easy for them at the time, okay? And so sometimes they even, they even cut Jesus completely out of their lives. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it now too. I'm going to cut it right here, okay? Okay. So sometimes they cut his words out completely, okay? They don't use the Bible as their guide for their life, okay? And in the end, though, I'm, I'm going to unfold, okay? In the end, though, it still all comes back to Jesus and his sacrifice for us. If there was, if there was another way to God, um... Jesus really wouldn't have needed to die on that cross, would he? Okay, he wouldn't have needed to give his life in order to save ours. Okay, so we'll make sure Thursday night when you come, you have a piece of paper, and we will do this together as well. Okay, have a piece of paper and a pencil and a pair of scissors. Okay, and we will, we will flip this and fold it and cut it so you can see how really... There's only one way. There's only one way, okay? And that is through him, through trusting him, through believing in him, okay? So, um, we will, as I said, we will meet Thursday night on our Zoom meeting, okay? I hope to see all of you there. I would love to see all of your smiling faces, okay? We'll, we'll talk some about trust in these verses as well okay have your piece of paper and pencil and your scissors we will we will work on this verse together as well because it's a really important verse so um look that verse up before thursday as well john 14 verse 6 14 6 okay um, we will pray here in just a minute as well, but I also want to remind you to keep our friend on hell in your prayers as well, okay? Um, and if you are still, if you are still able to um, keep providing for him, um, you can send that um, through, you can uh, give online, okay? And if you email uh, Mr. Stewart, myself, or Miss Beth, we will make sure that it gets put into On Hell's Fund. Remember that um, our journey with On Hell, we have been providing him each month um, with his food for his schooling and his clothes and food as well, okay? He is um, he is our student from the Dominican that um, I got to meet last year. Hopefully I will get to see him again soon as well. So be sure to keep Angel and his family uh, in your prayers as well. So let's just pray about how we can trust God this week and uh, know that through him, trusting in him is the, is the only way, is the only way. So dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we just, we praise you, we give you thanks, and we put first and foremost our trust in you. We just, we pray that you give us opportunities to trust in you, to put our faith in you, that you put those, 
those daily opportunities in our way for us to see that there really only is one way through you. So we, we thank you for all that you provide for us every day. You are our sole provider. We, we thank you for giving us shelter and food and clothing and most of us not really having to worry about that most of the time. So we pray that you help us continue to trust in you and show our faithfulness in you and to guide us to those places in our Bibles that will help um, further root our, our trust and faithfulness in you. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. So have a great rest of your week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you uh, Thursday night. And I miss you. And I hope to get to see you soon.